Yeah, greetings to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, once again, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Happy New Day. Anyway, we have come again oh, with another Obonga news. Oh, this one, uh, the issue of uh, uh, this uh, ex, or we can call it, uh, yeah, ex uh, lawyer to Martin Namdekano, a lot to say, Jimako. Sorry, if I need your for, sorry to say, sorry, my people, if I need a job for. Um, uh, this uh, his uh, issue. He don't they plead with Bia Francine. Say, I beg, make on forgive me. Say, what can I do? Say, I set a nine push and go do that thing. And according to him, oh, he come out now to let us know that uh, as he survived five assassination attempts under Buhari regime for defending Namdekano in court. Oh, according to Ifanye Jofo, he don't cry out again. I think uh, all these things where they happen now, and I'm supposed to know, say, this man, he don't feel remorse about. Uh, uh, betraying Mazin Namdekano, according to the information that Richard which is also, we have not uh, found a very good source, a very reliable source to verify that claim. But whichever way it is, whether he is still uh, handling the issue of Mazin Namdekano or not, he's still our brother. Uh -huh. At least now that he have already, um, what will I call it, he have already retreated his, his uh, steps to ask for forgiveness. I think it is high time we be a friends forgive him and welcome him back into the family. I don't know what you think, but whatever your your thinking is, or whatever your idea is, or whatever your thought is, please drop it at the comment section. We need to really transition out and let him know that uh, no matter how bad it is, uh -huh, our blood is our blood. Uh, guy, we can never uh, throw him away simply because uh, he have done something wrong. After all, Peter B, who come out to tell us that I am not desperate to become a president. There was a video that is making trend online now where he lie down. I mean, where he sit down on a mat. Eating with the full and easy and uh, house house. But uh, I tell you, I'm not desperate to become a president. My dear brothers and sisters, make we forget about whatever we are doing with Peter Bill. If you come out 2027, nobody should vote for him. Biafra or Masobo under Peter B suffered a very good setback. So me looking at Peter B coming out now, he will become a president that did not even use more than Tunumbu. Let me tell you people the simple truth. Because he will turn against his own people. So now he's going from east, east to west, north and south, all the whole northern state now, he don't tell all of them, even very, wait till he may not for Peter Obina to join them in doing Allah Akbar. <laughs> My people, I beg you, let us uh, read in between the lines, I beg we have another Obonga headline here, which says, and I quote, I have killed many people that I can't remember their number. No, terror terrorist confesses, this one, not terrorists who they capture. This one and his confession. But I can categorically tell you that tomorrow night you will see they will call him a repentant Boko Haram and they initiate him into the army. The next one you will see him, they fly him to the southeast to come and begin to kill people. They see him. He can never remember the number of people he killed. But they captured him and they allow him to do that confession. But people who have nothing, who have only placard, will be in prison for the rest of their life. Simply because... They shouted, uh, Biafra, on Biafra we stand, or raising a Biafra flag. And you come out and tell us that uh, uh, this country is one. <laughs> anyway, my wonderful people, I beg if you get this message, help me like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe because we are about to read in between the lines. If you have anything to tell, uh, um, if I need your fault, please know, let us be civil or civic or civil in our approach uh, so that. Uh, uh, the young man no go no will not get depressed. <laughs> he will get depressed. And your first said this, which happened yesterday, will be Monday. In a statement he titled uh, "Crucial Clarification Regarding the Case and Trial of Onyendu Maze Namdekano," he made this statement earlier yesterday. The Council for the Digital People of Biafra, IPOB, Sir Ifani Chukwe Jofo, Esquire, has said he escaped five assassination attempts during former uh, President Muhammadu Buhari's government. A Jofo said this on yesterday, will be Monday, in a statement titled Crucial Clarification of Defending the Liberator, the Ohamadike, and the Lion himself. He revealed that uh, between 2015 and uh, 2021, under former President Buhari's regime, he escaped five assassination attempts by those who were on a specific instruction to kill him at all costs. He said uh, it was uh, not because uh, he was a criminal, but uh, because he was uh, defending Namdekano 
and Ezebo Mochineke, which is the IPOB. I joined Onyenduma as Nam the Kano's Lega team in 2015, December precisely, and eventually took on the role of Onyenduma as Nam the Kano's elite council, and also as the IPOB general elite council in January 2016. He said, adding, since 2015, I have diligently performed my professional duties in defending Onyendu, Maze, Namdekano, and Apobo while upholding uh, ethical standards. According to Ifanye Jofo, this one on a cry for help. I beg, make on a help this out your brother. Ibila say, the money where they give up, where it takes uh, so the Maze, Namdekano, he don't go use and do the limit for uh, a Kwoko Kotiwarake uh, club. The money don't finish now. He want to add another one. Another one. Despite achieving a significant and unprecedented victory, my son in securing the release of Onyendu, Mazen Namdekano, and other comrades in 2017 and 2018, respectively, have also worked tirelessly to secure the release of numerous IPOB members from detention facilities, both at the federal, state, and levels, and so and the local levels. Possibly numbering in their thousands. He said that his effort did not go without repercussions. Adding both state and non state actors attempted to kill him through various inordinate means, one of which was the invasion of his ancestral home in Orifite, a Kusigo local government area of Anambra State, by the Nigeria security agents. According to Ifani, he said the murderous operation was a bankrolled by a monster from his own town called, uh, what do they call him, uh, a, a, a for Yes, according to him, a for He said during this operation, many civilians were murdered in their prime and over 30 houses were burned uh, all in a bid to eliminate me at all costs by any means for being Onion Dumas and Namdekanos Atone and I public council. Ivanie Jofo laments. Since their evil mission was not completely accomplished on the 2nd of December 2019, another bloody invasion of my ancestral home was carried out in June of 2021, this time with the specifics confirming my availability at the time of invasion. Acting on this uh, strong, lead, my, uh, strong lead, my house was invaded at the wee hours of the morning of 6th of June 2021, and my personal assistant in the person of Mr. Samuel Okoro was gruesomely murdered, his dead body dumped in the boot of my car and subsequently set ablaze at Nene in Aniocha, uh, local government area of Anambra State. Three of my words to wit, Ugochuku Lorenzo Feliz Okafo and Iken Natubike abducted during this bloody invasion are still in detention to death, even as I struggle day in, day out to secure their release between the year 2015 and 2021. I have escaped five consecutive brutal assassination attempts, ostensibly carried out by those who were on respective instruction to kill, to mom, and to decimate his body. According to Ifan Ichuku, a and according to him, he said, uh, he, they were ordered to kill him by all means, at any means, at all costs, and not because uh, he was a criminal or a Biafra detector, but simply because he leads the, 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 the lawyers that defend Mazenam de Kano and also Ezebo Mochineke, which, are, which means uh, the Biafrans. Continuing, the Jofo maintained that those seeking to kill him had not relented. He said that uh, their identities and strategies have been exposed and narrowed down to irregular actors who had resorted uh, to funding calls aiming to assassinate Ifani Ejofo. This one uh, cry for help. I beg, be a Francis. Make on us anyhow. Wanna go take help this uh, our this our auntie with the rub bleaching clean. <laughs> a notorious terrorist recently arrested by vigilantes in northwestern part of Nigeria, Mohammed Dikorada. I said that uh, he cannot uh, recount or recall the number of people he has killed. Now, uh, human beings now are animals. That nobody can recount how many they have killed. In fact, the guy said he have lost count. In a video clip we shared online by a counter insurgency expert and security analyst in the lecture region, Zagazola Makama, Abi Zagazola Makama, 
the terrorist said uh, he doesn't look back to count numbers of casualties whenever he is shooting his victims. My name is Mohamed Dikorada from uh, Jajaye village in Castina State. I use an AK-47 rifle during operations. Actually, I can't remember whether I have killed uh, or how many people I have killed because once I shoot, I don't look back to see whether the victims are dead or not. I have participated in a couple of uh, kidnap operations in about two communities. I can remember attacking Bagaji and Sabongeri communities, the terrorists confess. Terrorists were kidnapped 286 and 287 stu uh, students. They don't threaten to kill them in 20 days if their 1 billion naira ransom are not met. Meanwhile, terrorists have threatened to kill, uh, threatened they will kill uh, the over 286 students and the staff of Joint Government uh, Secondary and uh, Lea Primary School in uh, Kuriga. Chicken local government area of Kaduna State, who were abducted five, uh, five days ago or five days ago. Okute News recalled that on the, on the unfortunate day of the attack, the armed bandits stormed the school not long after the assembly gathering and abducted the pupils and some staff members of the schools. A few days after the abduction, which was generated mixed reactions, among concerned Nigerians, the terrorists have reportedly demanded a total of one billion naira, which is $220,432 for the release of their victims. According to Reuters, a community leader, Jubril Aminu, who was acting as a spokesperson for the families of the kidnapped victims, said uh, he received a call on his phone from the kidnappers on Tuesday. Yet, the number they used to call cannot be ascertained or tracked. Nigeria on our way down. But when a student uh, bullied or, or said something against the former uh, president's wife or first lady, whatever they call it, Aisha Buhari, the guy was tracked from Abuja to Nasarawa or whatever not state, northern state that the guy uh, was schooling and uh, apprehended. But they cannot track uh, common criminals. And you tell me uh, that, hey, they don't know anything. <laughs> uh, they made a total of uh, 1 billion naira as ransom demand for all the pupils, students, and staff of the school, Amino reportedly said. They gave an ultimatum to pay the ransom within 20 days, effective from the date of the kidnap. They said they will kill all the students and staff of the ransom uh, if the ransom demand is not made. Also confirming the latest announcement from the terrorist, an elected official from the Kuriga, what municipal uh, council Idris Ibrahim brother said yes, the kidnappers called the community through Jubilee Amino's number and made the demand, he said. They called from a hiding number, but the authorities are working on getting the number. <laughs> anyway, my people, on uh, this one uh, Nigeria have become uh, uh, a den of robbers. Anyway, what do you expect when you have a president that is a drug lord and all the old people in his cabinet are mere convicted criminals? Uh -huh. One way or the other, they have been charged for corruption. Even if his second man will be vice president, though he be the chairman and leader of this group called the Boko Haram. Yet, they are the ones that are the helm of the affairs of the so-called country or contraction of a country called Nigeria. Anyway, my people, me, I don't have much to say. Now, here, me, I go take my break and I can hear my voice again when I come back. I beg, make on I continue liking, sharing, commenting, and make sure I keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos.